Hello, everyone. Good morning. Um, uh, if you are watching this morning, just thank you very much for joining me on a Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. It's the weekend. It's very early. It's the last day that the school will not be open. So next week we can see each other in person. Be sure to call Ketty, Marco, or Arobi in order to book a lesson or an activity in person next week. We have limited availability. So if you would like to come and see us and have a lesson with us in school, make sure that the lesson or the activity is available. So hopefully you have liked these webinars. We will continue them next week. And I hope you continue watching the webinars with us, but I also hope that you come back so we can have some conversation in the school. If you don't remember my name, my name is Caitlin. You can see it on the screen, I'm sure. And today we're going to be talking about the past. So let's begin with uh, sharing my screen. Focus activity four to five, my childhood. The word childhood refers to the period in your life when you are a child, of course. Um, so the word child is very unique in English because it has an irregular plural. Can you think of what the plural of child is? Childs? No. The plural of child is children, okay? I will write notes in the comments. If you have any questions or you want to answer or tell me something, you can also write in the comments. There is one second of a pause, okay? So when I see your comment, I will respond. So childhood, the period of your life when you're a child. Ah, so many people are here. Marco is here. Christian's here. Valentina, children. Maria Giuseppe, children. Very good. Okay. Welcome, guys. Okay. One second. I need my screen. Alessia is here. Perfect. So many people have joined me. Hi, guys. Thank you for coming on a Saturday morning. Who else is here? Good morning. Tiziana, Alessia, Giuseppe. Hello, guys. Hi. I have lots of viewers this morning. So my childhood. And also, can you repeat? Childhood 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 okay pronunciation childhood in this focus activity using when in descriptions simple past and asking questions okay so who else is here oksana hi your life as a child, where you born and when you born. One and two, how can we complete these questions? Where and when you born. Any ideas? I will write the answer while I wait. Number one, where were you born? Okay. Similar, number two, when 
were. Very good, Valentina. When were you born? Good. Giuseppe, very good. One and two are both were. So the infinitive of this verb is very different in English. The infinitive is to be born. Okay? To be born. I was born. You were born. He, she, it. He, she, it was born. We, we were born. And they, they were born. Very good. So uh, can you answer number one? Where were you born? I was born in Ohio, okay? I was born in Ohio. Number two, when were you born? Can you answer when you were born? I was born in 1994, okay? And you, where were you born and when were you born? Alessia was born in Genoa. Titi was born in Altamura. Beautiful. I love Altamura. Giuseppe. Hmm. Giuseppe, one thing, I was born in Foggia. Okay. Giuseppe, I was born in Foggia. Oksana was born in Ukraine. Good. One thing, spelling. Ukraine with a K, like my name, K, okay? Who else? Marco was born in Roma, in Rome, we would say, in English. Valentina was born in Modena. Alessia was born in 1999. Tiziana, Tiziana was born, beautiful, was born on... Elba Island, okay, on Elba Island. Maria Giuseppa was born in Salerno in 1995 and Oksana was born in 1982. Christian was born in 1997. Very good, guys. Perfect. So next. Number three, when you were a child, what your favorite game? How can we complete number three? When you were a child, what, what was your favorite game? When I was a child, I loved playing, very good Giuseppe, when I was a child, my favorite game was hide and seek. Okay. My favorite game was hide and seek. Very good, Valentina was. How about you? What was your favorite game? I loved playing hide and seek. And I loved playing volleyball, for example. Next. 
who your best friend i think you know and five what to, hmm, this is different what to you do together Tiziana says, my favorite game was playing with Barbie dolls. Me too. When I was very, very, very small, I played with Barbie dolls. Number four and five, who your best friend and five, what you do together. Hmm. Giuseppe says, number four, who were Valentina. Good. Who was, very good. Who was your best friend? Good. And number five, what <coughs> you do together. Excuse me. I'm okay. <laughs> Tiziana says her best friend was Francesca. Good. So let me write the answer. Valentina, very good. Number five is did. Who was your best friend? And five, what did you do together? Very good. So when I was very, very, very small, my best friend was Raven. And we would play hide and seek at school, okay? Maria Giuseppe's best friend was Juicy. Good. And can you tell me what you did with your best friend? With my best friend, Raven, I played hide and seek at school, okay? Very good. And again, if you have questions, you can write to me to ask questions. Here, when you were a child, fill in the correct past tense form of to be. Where you born? I born in California. Number two. What you like as a child? I very shy. Number three, what your dream job when you were a child? I wanted to be a professional football player. Good. So we have some answers. Good. Number one. Where were you born? I was born in California. Number two, what were you like as a child? I was very shy. Very good. Everyone is correct. Everyone is correct. Very good job, guys. Number three, what was your dream job when you were a child? I wanted to be a professional football player, okay? Very good job, guys, okay? Perfect. Now, let's see. What the difference? What were, oops, one second, what were you like as a child refers to your preferences, or excuse me, it's a description of personality, but what did you like as a child refers to your preferences. So what were 
you like as a child, I was very shy. I was very timid. Okay. Shy is timid. They are synonyms. What did you like as a child? I liked playing volleyball and hide and seek. Okay. We will practice more. Maria Giuseppe was shy and good. Me too. I was very shy when I was small. So let's do some adjectives to talk about what you were like when you were a child. What were you like? Match the opposites. Shy, serious, studious, active. Alessio was shy too, good. Sporty, lazy, funny, outgoing. Out, opposite of shy, outgoing. Good. So a synonym for shy, timid. A synonym for outgoing, extroverted. Okay. Opposite of serious funny. Okay. Funny is uh, comical. Okay. Funny is comical or something that makes people ha, 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 laugh. Okay. Good. Valentina is one to the next one. Studious. Sporty, active, and lazy, okay? So a synonym of sporty could be athletic. And lazy, lazy is a person who doesn't want to do anything. Lazy, you want to stay at home, you want to sleep, you don't want to do anything, okay? All right, very good job, guys. So what were you like as a child? Me, personally, I was uh, a little shy. I was very sporty, and uh, I was also very studious. Maria Giuseppa, serious is similar to the Italian. Serious is you concentrate on your studies. You are very serious, okay? You don't cause problems in the class. Okay, very similar to the Italian word. Good. And what were you like as a child? Again, I was sporty, but also studious and uh, a little shy. Okay? Valentina was studious and serious. Good. Anyone else? Very good, guys. So childhood memories. Oksana, I was very studious and sporty. Me too. Me too. So think about your childhood, then tell your partner. What was your favorite toy, memory, Food, place to go, movie, and book. Good. I'm now seeing all the answers. Alessia was studious and active. Giuseppe was shy and sporty. Christian was sporty and funny. Matteo was very studious and shy. 
So what were you like? Good. So when I was a child, my favorite food was hamburgers. I loved hamburgers. When I was a child, my favorite place to go was Disney World. I really, really loved Disney World and I still love Disney World now. My favorite movie was Hercules. Okay. Do you know Hercules? Have you seen Hercules? My favorite book was, of course, Harry Potter. Let's go here. My favorite toy. Um, when I was a child, my favorite toy was probably Legos. I really loved making things with Legos. And my favorite memory was every time we went to, to Disney World. Again, I loved Disney World and I still love Disney World. So Maria Giuseppe says her favorite food was anchovies, really? <laughs> and now no. That's crazy. A child who loves anchovies, never heard. Tiziana's favorite food was ice cream. Okay. Maria Giuseppe says she was shy. Marco was very funny, outgoing, and active. Matteo, Matteo says, me too. Matteo says, me too. Okay. Titi says her favorite food was ham. Okay. Her favorite movies were Disney's cartoons. Uh, yes, I agree. Oksana's favorite place to go was to the park. Okay. To the park. Good. All right. Very good job, guys. Do you have a favorite memory? from when you were a child? I said, my favorite memory was every time we went to Disney World, okay? Maria Giuseppe asks, Maria Giuseppe, the question we ask, not how were you, we ask, what were you like, okay? For description, what were you like, okay? Giuseppe says, my favorite food was pizza. Good, so Maria Giuseppe, what was I like? I was shy and I was studious and I was sporty, okay? Oksana's favorite cartoon was Tom and Jerry. Christian's favorite toy was video games. Tiziana's favorite memory was the holidays in the mountains. Uh, yeah, good, very good. Any other favorite memories? What did you do when you were a child? What was your favorite memory? Very good job, guys. Now, questions, uh, Giuseppe's, uh, okay, let me see. Let me finish reading the, the memories. Giuseppe's favorite memory was vacation in Disneyland in Paris. Very similar to mine, very similar. Okay, good job, guys. So now questions with other verbs, okay? So, Questions with to be are very simple, okay? Here we have, did you have a bicycle? Yes, I had a bicycle. 
What color was it? It was blue. Okay. Ah, we have other memories. Marco's favorite toy was Please to Go and playing Legos. Titi's favorite memory was when she talked to her grandma. Christian's favorite memory was the vacation at the sea with his grandfather. Good. Yes. So, so Christian, just two things. Vacation at the sea and spelling grandfather. Maria Giuseppe, <laughs> me too, yes. Maria Giuseppe also had a bicycle, good. So the infinitive have, past, had, okay? Have becomes had in the past. It's an irregular past tense, okay? So. Did you have a pet? Did you have a pet? I had many pets. I had three or four dogs. And you? Did you have a pet? How about, did you have a nickname? A nickname is a different name you use, okay? So I had a nickname. My nickname was, <laughs> Giuseppe says, no, I didn't a pet. Hmm, complete sentence, Giuseppe. No, I, oops, why did it go there? Okay. Complete sentence, no, I didn't have a or any pets. Good. So let's see here. Titi says, yes, I had a bicycle. It was pink and blue. I had a pet which was called Argo, like Ulysses Don. <laughs> Valentina says, I didn't have any pets. Very good. Tiziana says, no, I didn't have a pet. A, singular, any, plural. Very good. Good. Let's see. Maria Giuseppe says, I had many friends and now no more. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> you had many friends. Yes, Oksana had a nickname, B. Ah, your nickname was B. Good. My nickname was KK, okay? My nickname was KK. Good. Caitlin became KK. Good. Did you have a favorite game or a best friend? Good. Angelo, I had a pet that was named. Angelo, that was named Priscilla. Okay. And Maria Giuseppe with negative, I didn't have a pet or any pets, okay? I didn't have a nickname. I didn't have any nicknames. I didn't have a favorite game. I didn't have any favorite games. I didn't have a best 
friend, I didn't have any best friends. Okay? Good. Now let's see here. My nickname was Titi since I was born because my real name is Annunziata. Marco had a bicycle. Marco had a pet. Good. Okay? So let's remember with negatives. I didn't have a plus A plus singular. And I didn't have any plus plural, okay? Oksana had a best friend called Tanya. Christian had a pet called Rebecca, okay? Christian, I had a pet called Rebecca. Valentina's best friend was Roberto. <laughs> Very cute. Okay? Very good, guys. So, to review, let's create the questions with these words. Number one, a question. Born. What's a possible question we can create with the vocabulary word born? Number two, like. A possible question with like. Number three, favorite. Can you create a question with the word favorite? Number four, dream job. Create a question with the word dream job. And number five, did you have, can you create a question with did you have? You write examples of questions and I will also write some examples. Let's see. Number one, for example, we can say, where were you born? Okay. Marco, hmm, I did a nickname. I, past tense of have, Marco, I had a nickname, right? Okay, Marco, I had a nickname. It was. Good. Oksana says, where were you born? Good. Number two. A question for number two. For example... What were you like? Good, Titi has it all, good. Or Giuseppe says, what in the past, Giuseppe, what did you like, okay? What do you like in the present? What did you like in the past, okay? Valentina, perfect, Valentina. Maria Giuseppe, what were you like? Good. Hmm, Marco, for example, Marco says, I did have, oops, excuse me, wrong one. So Marco wrote, I did have a best friend. Is this correct? I did have, I, I had a best friend, right? 
Very good. I had a best friend. Okay. Number three. A question with favorite. Okay. Valentina says, what was your favorite game? Maria Giuseppa says, what was your favorite? La la la. Good. Number four. Mm. Ah, okay. Alessia also says, what was your favorite food, for example? Maria Giuseppa for number four. What was your dream job? Very good. What was your dream job? One thing, what was your dream job? Very good, Valentina. Like this. Okay? How about number five? Did you have... Huh, Oksana adds, what was your favorite singer? Very good. And number five, guys, did you have, did you have a pet? Giuseppe, uh, ah. Giuseppe wrote, did you have a pet, for example? Okay. Other questions. Tiziana? Right. Did you have a dog? Very good. Did you have many toys? Okay, perfect. Oksana had a favorite game. Football was Oksana's favorite game. Very good. Tiziana writes, did you have any pets? Hmm, good, very good. Any plus plural, right? Any plus plural, that's perfect, Tiziana. Angelo says, oops, excuse me. Did you have a console? Did you have many friends? Very good. Guys, perfect, okay? So final question for this lesson. The past of have, past of have, past of have is, for example, had. Good, okay? Perfect, Marco. Very good, guys. All right, so let's go to the next activity, okay? All right, next activity, still about the past simple. And it is about education, okay? So lots of vocabulary to describe different levels of education. So sharing my screen. Okay, so education. In this focus activity, simple past, past school experiences, and there was, there were, okay? Education, ask these questions in pairs. I'll talk to myself and maybe ask you to write answers in the comments. Number one, did you like going to school when you were a child? Did you like going to school when you were a child? Me personally, sometimes I liked going to school and many times I didn't like going to school. Okay. Number two, I need some water. I'm talking. Number two, where was your school? 
my school was in Ohio. Okay. Number three, what didn't you like about your school? For example, sometimes I didn't like the uniform. I had to wear a uniform to school and I didn't like the uniform at all. Okay. Tiziana says, no, I didn't. Christian says, no, I didn't. <laughs> Good. Tiziana's school was on Elba Island. Very good. What didn't you like about your school? I didn't like my uniform. Okay. So let me show this. A uniform is when you go to school and everyone must wear the same thing, okay? I didn't like my uniform. Giuseppe says, no, I didn't. <laughs> Christian, my school was in Rome. Oksana, yes, I did. Valentina didn't like going to school. <laughs> Tiziana didn't like physical education. Yeah, I, I didn't like physical education either. Oksana's school was in Ukraine. Valentina's school was in Rapallo. Very good, very good. Okay, perfect, guys. So let's go to the next step to learn about some vocabulary. Okay, so these are the different levels of education in English, okay? First, kindergarten, okay? Kindergarten is the level before elementary school. Uh, we have to go back here. Excuse me. Angelo says he didn't like the books. <laughs> And Christian didn't like the teachers. Uh, understandable. Very understandable. Good. So, okay. Kindergarten, the level before the elementary school. So you go to kindergarten when you are about five or six years old. Okay, more or less elementary school, which is grades uh, one through five, middle school, grades six through eight, high school, grades nine through 12, and finally, university, okay? Picture A, could be middle school. She seems about 12 or 13 years old. So she's probably grades six through eight. B, very, very small children before elementary school, kindergarten. C, they're older, so there was, they are probably in high school. D, they're young, but not so little. They are in elementary school. And this woman here has just graduated from university, okay? Now let's take a look at, uh, hmm, okay, Marco. You said, yes, I did like going to school when I were a child. When I, when I was 
a child, right? When I was a child, good. My school was was near my house. Good. Okay. So, which school was your favorite? Me, my favorite was university. Absolutely. I loved university. I hated middle school and high school. I didn't like going to middle school or high school because of the uniform. But I loved going to university. And you, which was your favorite? Giuseppe's favorite school was university. Yes, because you are free, you are independent. Good. Oksana's was her Oksana's favorite was also university. Christian's favorite was university. Good. I agree. In university, you are an adult. You are independent. You are free. Titi's favorite school was university and elementary school. She hated high school. I agree. Tiziana's favorite school was high school. Oof, I don't know how. I didn't like high school. Maria Giuseppe's favorite school was kindergarten. Yes, because you're very young. You don't have any worries. Alessia's favorite school was university. Totally agree. Marco's favorite school was high school. Good. Very good, guys. Thank you. Now, subjects. Okay. The subjects are the things that you study. Okay. For example, math, science, history, geography, art, and music. Everyone repeat this out loud three times, okay? Science, science, science. Pronunciation, science. And uh, repeat this uh, three times, geography. Geography, geography, pronunciation, geography, okay? Subject A, very good, Maria Giuseppe, art. B, math. C, history. D, Science, E, music, and G, geography. Now, what was your favorite subject? My favorite subject was, I loved everything. Mm, my favorites were history, art, and geography. My favorite subjects were history, art, and geography. My least favorite subject was chemistry. I hated chemistry so much, especially in high school. I loved other types of science, but not chemistry. Tiziana's favorite subject was math. Good. Anyone else, your favorite subject or your least favorite subject? And my favorite teacher was my Italian or my history 
teacher. In high school, I studied Italian and I loved my teacher and I decided to study Italian more and come to Italy. And I also liked my history teacher. Let's see. We have Estefani. Hmm. Let's see. Giuseppe? How can we respond? Uh, I was subject? For example, Tiziana writes, my favorite subject was math. So Giuseppe, my favorite subject was geography, okay? As Stephanie's favorite subject was math. Maria Giuseppe's favorite subject was history. Giuseppe's favorite subject was geography. Good. Let's see who else. Uh, let's go with least favorite. Tiziana's least favorite subject was history. Okay. Ah, uh, good. My favorite teacher was my Italian teacher, okay? Was my Italian teacher. Good. Okay, very good job, guys. Let's go. Now let's do some practice on regular simple past, all right? Let's remember, regular simple past is verb, verb ed, okay? So let's remember this. Number one, I played on the basketball team. Number two, I, anyone? I studied history and art. So if we have a Y, it becomes an I, okay? Y becomes I, E, D, okay? Three, I never attended school on Saturday. I failed, I failed a math exam in high school. I changed a school when I was 10 years old and I always passed my history exams, okay? Good, so let's remember in this case, Y becomes I-E-D, all right? Good, any questions you can write in the comments, all right? Let's go here. So just to review, okay, some questions and answers. Number one, what was your favorite school? Two, who was your favorite teacher? Three, what was your school like? Four, what did you like? Five, what didn't you do? Six, what were your favorite subjects? Seven, what kind of student were you? 
So I see a question, very good question, Christian. Why in play we say played, but study we say studied? So pronunciation. Okay, it's a question of pronunciation. Play. Play. Played. No need to add I. Play. Played. Study. Study. Studied. If Y is e it changes to an i sound okay so play don't pronounce the y played study pronounce the y studied with an i okay good Let's see. So uh, play, is this correct, Marco? Past of play. Play becomes played. Regular. Why not pronounced? So it is regular. Study in study, Y is pronounced, so it changes to an I. Okay, clear. Fast, simple in English is. A lot of memorization and a lot of practice. But you guys did very, very well. Okay? So, thank you for coming to our webinar. As I said at the beginning, we will continue the webinars and online activities next week. But... The school will also be open for limited in-person lessons and activities. So if you want to come to school, call the school and check if your activity is available. And I hope to see you all next week. I'm ready to come back to school. I am ready to see you again. I'm very excited that the school will be open. And thank you again for coming on a Saturday morning. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye.